Texas A&M's huge national signing day continues as they land uh, Rivals 100 prospect, the Nye White. This is a guy that they were battling schools almost coast to coast for. But in the end, they pull away and get his commitment. Adam, how did the Aggies do it? The Aggies really hung in there. Um, they've got some excellent connections to the Philadelphia area. They've had a lot of success there over the last few recruiting classes. And they beat teams like Ohio State and Georgia and Alabama. Um, Alabama kind of pushed on them a little bit late in the process here to try to try to change the momentum. But Texas A&M held on. They get another really good defensive end prospect, some great length uh, from Eni. Uh, I expect him to uh, be a pass rushing specialist for uh, for Texas A&M for many years. Yeah, he's kind of played all over the field. Like we had him ranked as an athlete yeah. for a long time. But how do you see him kind of growing in and fitting on that defense? I met Enon White when he was a freshman at a small private school in New Jersey. He was playing receiver, cornerback, safety, tight end, defensive end, outside linebacker. He played all over the field, and he's grown and become this outstanding defensive end prospect. Uh, I expect him to uh, play a lot with uh, standing up at Texas A&M and using his hands and, and athleticism just to get to the quarterback. He doesn't really have to be too fancy with those hand techniques or, or playing with a ton of leverage. He is so fast, so long that uh, you know, offensive tackles are really going to have to be on their game to make sure that he stays out of the backfield. Yeah, uh, he kind of keeps getting bigger. With that With that athleticism and versatility, you think that's why Texas a and made him such a big priority? I think so. Yeah, he really complements what they've already got in this recruiting class. He's he's somebody who can obviously come downhill and rush the passer, but he has the ability to stand up and, and drop into coverage. Uh, that's not something that a lot of these other defensive end prospects that Texas A&M is signing can really do all that well. So he just adds another layer of versatility to this defensive front, and um, that, that versatility, is, I think, is going to pay off in a big way as long as he keeps developing. All right, another big get for Texas A&M. Uh, be sure to check out AggieYell.com for complete coverage of the Aggies signing class. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Woody.